the channel. <clears throat> um, my bad if it sometimes I take too long to record video and things like that. Um, just like uh, I want to upload a video at least one or two a day, but between work and other stuff, it kind of gets a little crazy. But yeah, hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you want to start programming Swift, this is a Swift tutorial for beginners, so subscribe like and share the video let's get started so from the previous video we left it here we were able to sign in into firebase right right here you see we created that this account is the user id blah 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 it doesn't show the password because it's encrypted it's saved that was december 29 now we want to be able to store create a user store now I did this right just to show that our Firebase was working because we installed it and everything. So now that tennis, we don't want to do it like here or like um, you could think about oh, create a function and you could just do it here. And uh, that's not good. It's not good to have business logic with um with the UI stuff and get very familiar with that certain business logic, which is like algor for algorithms and any service that you want to do. So right now what we should do is just create a serve uh, folder, call it group, right? And then call it, just call it Firebase Manager. Because here um, we'll be able in here to create create all the manager with using for Firebase. Let's create a file let's call it yeah as a file and let's call it um auth manager for authentication so here we add we'll do anything that has to do with like um creating an account or logging into an account so boom okay here just import firebase authentication and yeah let's go or we could just um, yeah, let's import fire fire store yeah if anything you could just do this then just import firebase and forget about this let's do it like that so let's create a class called out manager type of ns object right boom so let's create a static function. It's called um, create. Yeah, we um, sign in or create and then yeah, let's do create. And then here we want to pass in uh, mm, Email, just a string, a password, just a string, and what else do we have um, when logging in? I think it's username. Okay. Boom. From here, we could just be like all the all the create with username, right? So email for email, password for password, and then we're gonna completion handler, and then we have results. This is the result that's gonna come from Firebase and error, right? So basically, this is a function, a Firebase function, and you might be thinking, oh, well, we're creating basically the same thing. It's not the same thing. This is Firebase, and at least here, if we have any bug or anything logging in, we know where to go. Instead of having just everything crazy in here and you know or in the sign in login account. So we have a button, yeah, handle login, let's go there. Oh, which is right here, right? I just did that so I cause just to find out where it was. So let's say if all this is true, because we already did all this validation, right? So what we want to do, let's now we could just create another private function. Let's call it, oh no, okay. I'm here in the login account. Let's go to the sign up because we create the first function we created. 
attend the login. Do we have a, oh, yeah, there should be handle sign up. Oh, no, yeah, let, let me rename it like this so you know, right? You select it, right click, refactor, rename, and you'll be like, sometimes maybe your computer is faster than mine, sometimes it gets a bit slow. You could be like, handle, um, sign up. You could be like, sign up or create account, whatever you like. Okay. Let's create another function here. Let's be like, um, I don't know if we want, we could just do this. Now let's create a function, yeah. A private function. Create account, call it. And with parameter of our email, string. Password mm, Let me see we could do that or no, let me just do, leave it like this. I was just gonna pass in the parameters, but I'm gonna do it like this and I'm gonna just comment this and call it create account. So if you know this is gonna be create account, then we're gonna call the of manager dot zero here. Boom, because it's a static function, you could use it this way. So for this, um, we've got the name and the password. We already have those two fields. Oh, we got an email field, yeah, too. So we want the email, where is it? Email dot text, right? And then we want the, we could do it like that. Password for the text, boom, and then you like username. What is it? Name, whatever, or name. I put username dot text field. You could do it like that, but or if you don't wanna use um, or if you if you wanna if you wanna you don't wanna use the bank operator, I'll show you a different way how to do it. Boom. boom. So it's right here. So whenever it passes all this, it's going to create an account. And so we go to the scene delegate now, right? Uh, let's go into here. What the hell? Let's comment this and let's uncomment this and see what happens. Mm, let's see if we're able to create an account, simple. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope I'm not going very fast. Plus, we're gonna do this like a little, and then we're gonna do some cleanup and make it look more professional. Okay, since we have an error, we're over here because, yep. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, when I selected to change everything, I forgot. So, if you get that error, go into your login view controller and just um, command C, you know. And you know, see like this, like on your keyboard command, and then you see, and then close back. Then now it should be all set. I don't know. I'm always having problem with that. There's a lot of words that um I don't. I think I pronounced it wrong, but maybe not. Okay, so let's go to sign up, enter name. As right now, the name is not going to appear in the database, but whatever. Let's fill it in there. Right. Mm. Testing one uh, AOL. Oh my god, you guys don't remember AOL. Now it's called Gmail. AOL is old school. And let's put any password. I'll put a password. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what happened. Oh, error is no, but let me see here. See right here, boom, show. Just tap refresh and boom, I'll go here and then you go back and then it shows. Okay, at least we know that we're able to register a user, but in Firestore, nothing has happened yet. So, something I want to help you, which is great if you learn how to use um, read documentation, you wouldn't need any tutorial. I mean, even though sometimes I do look for tutorials, but um, yeah, if you learn how to use this. Um, 
the documentation from Firebase is well done. Like if you want to do authentication, always remember um, for the platform we do on iOS. If you do an Android or web, Unity, any of that. But for Firestore, right, we right here. So we did. We we already did a lot of this. Basically, um, um, pod install. Remember we did that. And if you check um right here, we have that in the pod file. We have Firestore, Firebase, and Firestore. Boom. This is to use authentication. This is to use Firebase store database. So we already did that. We already did this. If you check your says your app delegate, right? You come here. It tells you straight on import Firebase. Do boom. We didn't do this because we don't need it here. <coughs> Excuse me. Then now let's do this bar. Oh. I thought somebody was knocking my door. So, so yeah, let, we're gonna go do this now in our view controller. Let me drink some water. We're going to do something super similar to this. Watch um, yeah, we can just keep this here. So if we go to the auth, right? Let's create another function. If we could do it here if we want. <coughs> yeah, let's do it here and then we like um we could just firestore the firestore the collection. So we want a collection remember collection is a string. It says right there collection path string. So users not user users with an S because this is and then another child. Mm. Is there is a or oh, add document? Yeah, nah. I want to add another child. Okay, this is weird. Let me see. Path, blah, blah, blah. Add document. Add. Okay, document path string. Yep, right. So basically, this is a collection, and that collection has documents, and that document shouldn't be a string, it should be results dot user dot uid which this uid right is the user id and then we get like um set data which taken um a string of any a dictionary so let's call it data and let's create this data right here let data equal right boom so what do we want here? Let's call it um, user. It says string username, which is this username. And then we could do um, creation, created at, and here we could just put like um, an estate um, dot now, dot dot. That now this is gonna take the day for this and then say can I compare to optional blah 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 let me see what it is okay we could do this right or we could be like um guard lay u i d equal results dot user the u i d else return which mean if this is empty right if this user ID is empty just return it don't save nothing because it's pointless and then here okay we got to cast it as a string of any we could do it that should be all set right yep that a lot of time you can just do this like um you see in some people they do it like this so you don't have to do this that's another way. Probably you see a lot of code written up like this, written like this. Anything plus the type and that, and then data. Right? Okay, now let me do something different. Set data with a completion handler. So here will be like data, right? Error. So because we want to do something, if we, if we error. This is something okay. If it error, no, okay, no, let's say equal to no, equal to, to no, right? Basically, if it's error is empty, print error, 
so you know what's going on. Then otherwise we could do something else. So it's right now. Mm. Well, I'm being writing in Java. Okay, let me see something. Why is not? Sorry, I'm. Or oh, Neo. Things that I've been doing a lot of cloud stuff and I've been doing Java and Java use a lot of now in ULL and here is Neo. So my bad, my confusion. And then here, if you want to get error, that it could be like the localized description and it prints the error. So now let's try to register another user. Let's see what happens. Right, we're gonna sign up and then now we're gonna be like gender testing username. The testing two, you could do whatever you want at gmail.com the email, but you just need like a valid email and a password with a pass. Okay, boom, you see like a bunch of stuff happen here. Oh, I know why this is showing now. But now, if we go inside of home, um, see basically we did this thing. Another thing, too, you, you could do sometimes like if you let error, you see me doing that sometime, or if it's not equal to nil. So let's refresh. Okay, now, okay, let's go here. Okay, testing two, and then we go to Firebase Firestore. You see, we had a user, this is the ID, and then boom, created on January and username. So you see this ID right here blah 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 the same ID for that user so we, that's what you identify do you be like oh you know what happens if you don't have an ID like different from every single user you're just going to override things like you create another user you're just going to override it and you create another user you're just going to override it but this is different like right now if we create another let's say let's put another um, let's put three and then testing UID, you hear that a lot, UUID, and then be like, boom, right? And you see, boom, how we create a life, and there's like the new ID. So that's how um, application works. A lot of applications, they have that, um, you see like when you log in, and then you get all your information, because like you get a username, you can have here a bunch of other stuff, like first name, last name, everything that you wanna add. Same thing later on, we're going to add another collect collection for messages, for posts, and all that different, and all, all be by ID, so you could find who it belongs to, the information, you see? Here, and here. And if you check here, boom, testing three, and everything is all set. See that ID right here? It's the same ID, that's right here. So. That's all said, and if you check GitHub, right, look, boom. These are all the changes we have done. So now I'm going to remove this because we don't want it. Where is the feed? Yeah, we don't want it. You see, if you want to remove this, you should have discharge changes, and it goes back to how it was. You come here, boom, it disappeared. So if you want to push these changes, you see, feature, you add a Firebase. If you want to push this change, you could be like, hmm, add it create account function or method a lot of things you hear method and function but it's basically the same thing and you you can you can commit those changes then you push it or <clears throat> and that should be another thing that I want to show you is okay let's do some merging let's merge the de um, develop right no so let's merge the, this one Okay, we gotta, we gotta pick this one. Hold on, let me go to develop, right? And then let's go to merge, and then let's merge this, right? Merge feature added into develop. So we're gonna merge, this, meaning we're going to put all the code that we have here into develop. So other people, if they're working from develop branch or you wanna create other branches, you have all the la latest changes. So you do boom, all that, you see? So self for this merge, and if we go, you see if you we push those changes, make sure everything is all said and done. Boom. 
now if you check history you could see like oh and stuff firebase added created account you could see here the, the place that you changes and all that is in develop now if you want to take this branch let's say you want to delete it you could delete it are you sure you want to delete this you could be like yeah right I told you earlier about this thing I keep getting that hopefully you're not getting it I hate that now if you're gonna develop right you could do the same thing if you wanna keep um and right now right it, hold on okay I don't know why I got that error I shouldn't have it because I just switched branches but you see I even deleted the other branch but because I merged everything into develop Let's see what happened. I should be able to have. Where's my? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where are my changes? So some all firebase at the beginning. You see, you see, I got all my changes right here. So right now, for my friend or my coworker wants to work from develop, um, they could do it. If we go to GitHub and we go this, you could see that all oh, this right, and it says okay, all these things happen and recent changes, pushes, and all that good stuff. Now, I'm gonna leave you a little homework. Um, I'm gonna help you a little bit only. You could just create another function right here. It'd be like um, static, right? Static font, fetch user, right? Mm, yeah by id so you be a string oh no user id you could be your id and be a string boom then now what you can do is oh uh, let me see if you're able to do it because okay mm, you could play around because you could be here like um Yes, right, and then you be like U U I D. What is it? U I D, right? And you pass in the ID, and then you could do this like um. No, uh, this one right here, right? You could be on uh, something like um. Firestore the Firestore the. The command path users, and then the. Um, what is it? Is it get document or something like that? Yeah. But you be another word be like what is it called action path? Yeah. Then you be like UID and then you be like the get and you're just doing your homework right now. Boom snapshot, you could be like snap shop and Error. So if you're a bit like same thing, if it, or you could be if you let error equal to equal to error. Print. You could be like fail to fetch users, and then you could do something like this, and then type error. Boom. And then he. Otherwise, here if there's no error, you could be like print snapshot and let's see what happens so let's see now okay we're going to create a user and then we're going to pre print the user information let's see what happens Um, this is just for testing because this won't be here, but I just want to show you how to do this. Plus, we're gonna do a little bit more cleanup and make sure and make things make sure things look more professional. And right now, also we're working off the develop branch, so we see the changes that we have. We could later um, push those changes to develop, or we could just create a branch for that. Let's see what happened. This is taking a little bit to load. But if you see this, it's pretty um pretty neat and show you what's up. 
So always pick your platform, Swift. If you work in Objective C or Java or whatever, better Swift. Yeah, so you can learn about security your data and all that stuff. But I like always to keep looking at documentation because a lot of things changes. Like if you see Swift and Firebase, they always um, send the new version and things like that. So always you can start on Google like um, Firebase um, or FireCloud or documentation or whatever in Google and it will appear and this thing is taking mad long. But it's okay, I'm, I know it's almost built in. On my computer, just like I have a bunch of different um, users open and things like that. And it gets slow plus recording and running Xcode and all that good stuff. It gets crazy. And there's mad people talking about how you could hear the background. So yeah. So here also we're going to add a completion block. Um, so if it did, all this is assessed, we'll be able to call it from the um, sign up. And if it, you get a user back, then you'll be presenting to the main view and show the user information. You know, so, but this is good because we're gonna, we could use this for our user profile to get um here like we could add um later we could add a profile image and things like that which will be here and which will be stored under the firebase user id okay let's go let's call them um, testing printing right and then like printing at Um, and then this password. Boom. You see what happened here. Since we have an error. Shall we? It's the only thing with Firebase. Boom. Uh oh. Threat invalid document reference. The document reference must have an even number of segment but user has one what do you mean okay user user and then user id is this user id right boom 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 document right and get documents hold on Mm. Let me see something. Oh, this collection. Hold on. Okay, yeah. Let me let me print this. Let me copy it. Document user ID and then block get document right. With a snapshot error. Let me rerun this and see what happens now. Shouldn't give me that error, but we are maybe because I was accessing the document right away when this is a collection. I should go into the collection then to a document. Yeah, you see data structure. Let's see, testing doc doc gmail dot com and then see what happened now. Boom. Okay. Snapshot. You see, it printed there. Bye bye. Document. I could be like kind of. Mm. Let's see. Or oh, give me an error because they have the same email. Okay, let's print. Oh no, it's gonna give me the same error because I have to rerun it. Oh my god, I'm so used to like Java that um to show you all that. You just save and runs. Well, with Spring Framework data. 
Okay, that's it. Store.com and all that. Boom, you see, username, dark, blah, blah, blah. Then if we come here and then we go here, we see, okay, oh, it, it was right there. So we like, okay, which where are you? It's one of the, okay, username, dart, right? You see, dart and blah, 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 create a, create a timestamp, boom, boom, boom. You see, here you go. So now you could see now, then I'm gonna show you how to turn those into user, but right now, I'm gonna finish the video. I'm just gonna record one, another one, maybe later on. I gotta do something. And remember, like, subscribe, and do your thing. Keep coding.